My name is John Wilson. I've had tremors all my life. Anytime I had to write something, you know, it, it wasn't much fun because they always teach you to hold the pencil lightly. You can't do that with a tremor. My signature is illegible because if I try to make it legible, it looks like my first grader did it. Yeah, yeah I feel like they're... <laughs> Everybody's focused on me, wondering why my hands are shaking, and yeah, it, it would be a game changer to be able to go to a restaurant and have a normal meal and not worry about any of that. I'm really looking forward to the focus ultrasound treatment to stabilize the one hand, my dominant hand, and just to be able to do stuff I have never been able to do. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. We'll take great care of them. So uh, this morning we're doing a MR guided high frequency ultrasound ablation on a patient. We are using ultrasound to treat his tremor and it creates a thermal ablation in his thalamus to stop the tremor. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Aww. Wow. I'm just so happy for him. I'm just, I mean, it's just, it's just amazing. Just amazing. Once you get through the process and you hold your hand out, it's just amazing to see the result. You should have a detailed conversation with your physician regarding the risks and benefits of treatment options prior to treatment. The most common complications reported by subjects in Insight Tech-sponsored clinical studies after treatment included imbalance, gait disturbance, numbness, tingling, and headache, head pain. Most complications were classified as mild or moderate, and 48% resolved on their own within 30 days. Additional infrequent events included dizziness, taste disturbance, slurred speech, fatigue, and vomiting. Persistent complications at three years included numbness, tingling, imbalance, unsteadiness, gait disturbance, and musculoskeletal weakness. For complete safety information, please visit usa.essential-tremor.com slash safety-information.